2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And a good Thursday evening to you. 2K Sports presents the NBA. Along with Steve Smith and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And our friend on the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge, we'll be hearing from shortly. D.A., take it away. Thanks very much, Kevin. Nikola Vucevic has a new role on the Bulls. He said, in Orlando, everything was going through me. Now there are more guys who can score. So I try to do other things to help the team, like passing and rebounding and screening. When you have so much talent around you, you have to adjust. There are many ways you can impact the game. Kevin, you are impacting this broadcast. Back to you. <laughs> you are too, D.A. Thank you so much. <laughs> And checking out Utah's opening lineup, we've got Kelly Olenek. Jordan Clarkson is out there with Colin Sexton. Then there's Markinen. And for Chicago, they've got Levine. DeRozan out there with Vucevic. And it's Alex Caruso. And it's Ball in a point. And with the addition, Greg, of the play-in tournament, we're seeing more meaningful games here late in the season. Yeah, we're, we're seeing teams battle for positioning more than ever. You have multiple teams trying to secure that six seed to avoid the play-in. Sexton finds Clarkson. Nice ball movement by Utah. Sexton deciding where to go with it. The shot will not fall. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of Miami. Yeah, sometimes the matchups just aren't in your you favor no matter what you do. Colin it Sexton. seems like your opponent First does it better. Foul. You know, they were First reacting rather than dictating. I thought they the played scared Chicago. all night. First Love trip to the line ball. for him here. Taking two shots. First one falls, and defensively, Chicago's so solid. Steve, they don't gamble a lot. They just get the job done. Kevin, they do. Well, how they get it done, they rely on their intelligence. Good communication at that end. Could they be more disruptive? Maybe, but they play to their identity. Ball hits them both. You know, Greg, we talk a lot about Ball's offense, but his defense is just as important to this team. Oh, Kevin, very disruptive. He has terrific positional size, and he can anticipate where the offense is going. Now, here's Sexton. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. DeRozan against Olenek. The 15-footer, DeRozan shot his good. One of the best mid-range shooters in the NBA, DeMar DeRozan makes a living from this spot. Outside, Sexton. Back to Clarkson. Levine against Markinen. Here's Sexton. The shot, no good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Levine finds Caruso to the middle. Here's Vucevic, and he lays it straight in. Strong through contact. Vucevic From gets it done. Caruso. It's been a slow start here for Utah. Six-point game. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. Yeah, I mean, in that one, you really saw a difference in aggression between the two teams, particularly on the board you know you can't allow that many second chance opportunities and then get almost none yourself rarely that works out for you now here's DeRozan after Colin Sexton's miss the fadeaway and it's Vucevic missing the Jazz have gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game the open look here for Sexton offensive rebound it is good. And the lid comes off the basket after four straight misses. They finally get one. Ball, the bounce pass. Levine kicks the ball. Pass to Caruso. 
DeRozan surveying the D. Hits it from three-point range. DeRozan's got five now. Yeah, three for four now. I like the pace for them on offense. Outside, marking it. Back to Sexton. Clarkson on the wing. Let's the three fly. Hits the three-point bomb. Maxing three baskets points. from the perimeter and earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Two minutes remaining. Now here's Caruso. Two minutes. He's coming off a 16-point game against Miami. Oh yeah, it's going to be payback. Levine matching threes and making plays. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Jazz. You know, GA, something you notice about this Jazz team, they love to shoot the three. The statistics tell you that, and they tell you that. And, Kevin, not only do they love it, they do it well. The two, sadly, don't always go hand in hand, but these guys can really hurt you from range when they get gone. Chicago are going with an almost entirely new group. Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Williams comes in for DeMar DeRozan. Ayo Dosumu is checked in for Alex Caruso. And it's Patrick Beverly in for ball. Incredible speed in the open court. Once he steals it, you're not catching Zach Levine. Awesome display of athleticism captured by your AT&T 5G slam game. One thirty-two left here in the opening quarter. Here's Horton Tucker. Defended by Beverly. Doing work inside. Nice finish by Taylor Horton Tucker. Pass to Dosuma. Outside, Levine. Drummond trying to get himself free. Levine can't hit. Meeting right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. And that oh, one's good, Abaji. Taylor Horton Tucker doing a nice job of finding his teammates. They are loving it. Here's Beverly. And that comes off the assist by Levine. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Nice ball movement by Utah. And the Jazz, another three. And they don't want to get in the habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Levine. He has five. Now here's Dosumu. Drummond in the post. He's covered by Azubuki. Williams sinks that one from the post. And how about the unselfishness? Drummond can be a willing and creative passer at times. Rudy Gay on the way. That one drops for him. Man, this guy is a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. Tonight's first the quarter of play. Quarter. We've seen With plenty of offense so far. The it's the Bulls up three. 15. We'll get right back to the action when we return. 15. Some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. 
and a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Chicago. They're unselfish. They're passing the ball well, setting up teammates, playing team basketball, and their focus. And guys, they've also done a great job generating offense from their defense, forcing turnovers and making the defense pay for those mistakes. Anytime you watch the Jazz, you have to think back to those great Utah teams of the 80s and 90s. They easily could have won a few rings. And so in the game for the Jazz, Sexton is out there with Clarkson. Then there's Markinen. Then it's Olenek. Alonzo has been working on that, shooting off the catch with confidence and without hesitation. Outside, Sexton. Back to Clarkson from downtown. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Maybe even more than a few. And Smitty, it seems hard to believe those Jazz didn't win a title or two. Kevin, well, if it wasn't for a player named Michael Jordan, they probably would have. Those Stockton Malone Jazz teams ran into Jordan twice in the finals when he was at the peak of his career. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. And that's life above the rim, courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Now, here's Ball. He has five. Outside Williams, jacks up a three, and again, it's the Bulls from deep. Doesn't shoot off the from deep, but Williams gives them the ability to use him from outside. Sexton kicks to Clarkson. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Takes the turnaround, Jay. Again, the Jordan Jazz score. Clarkson. And savvy inside play by Clarkson, getting himself a look right at the basket. To the inside, Ball. Vucevic trying to get open. And Ball gets it to go on the assist from DeRozan. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Back to Sexton. He kicks to Clarkson. Lock at six. And there's the pass to Markinen. Here's the three. Second shot opportunity. And he sinks the layup. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Outside Williams. Back to ball. Well, Greg, we see it every year. Those overachieving teams in the NBA. What enables them to be greater than the sum of their parts? Well, listen, love can play a part, but confidence is a huge factor as well. If you walk into that gym every night believing you'll find a way to win, oftentimes you do. Here's Clarkson following the score by DeMar DeRozan. Two minutes remaining. And here's Clarkson. Two minutes. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And, folks, he did not look into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Most losing teams, Greg, are looking to rebuild, look to the future, but not in Chicago. Yeah, their idea to turn it around was to get all-stars. <laughs> Trading for Vooch in 21 during a losing season, then signing DeMar as a free agent. That's a refreshing approach. Checked in for Vucevic. Jack Levine comes in for Willie Cruz. Ozumu, he's checked in for Alex Caruso. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Lonzo Ball. Now, here's Beverly. He averages a bit over six points a game. Passes it to Dosumu. Bounce pass from Drummond. And the basket by DeRozan. DeRozan's got four points in the quarter. 
And for those who criticize Drummond facilitating, I say re-watch that play. He's improving. Pass to Horton Tucker. Here's Abaji. He's got six. Here's Toscano. The shot, no good. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. There's a minute left to play here in the second quarter. Dosunmu, the pass to Beverly, connects from three-point range. And now a 10-point Chicago lead. That's what they expect from Patrick Beverly, knocking down the spot-up J. As to Toscano. Here's Azabu. There's 39 seconds left to play in the first half. Gay left side. And the pass to Horton Tucker. And we've seen it for years. Despite their regular season success, the Jazz just unable to make much noise in the playoffs. Credit the front office for coming to terms with it and pivoting to a rebuild while they could get top value for their stars. First one drops. Horton Tucker is a scorer, someone that tries to give his team a jolt of energy. He's perfect from the line this time. 30 seconds left here in the second. Passes it to Dosun. Kicks it to Levine. 17 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Again, Chicago. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Gay passes to Horton Tucker. Three-pointer. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's Chicago going into the break with a 10-point lead. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. And we'll be right back after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. Chicago team ready to play. They launched into a 6-0 run with an impressive effort on both ends of the floor. Playing comfortably, they strolled through the rest of quarter one, leading by 12 points. Then in quarter number two, their offensive game plan started firing on all cylinders as they cruised into halftime up by 10. What do you think, Shaq, about the top? Well, what I like, the ball never stopped moving, nor did the players. Everyone working in unison, playing for one another. Love to watch this brand of basketball. We've got a whole nother half to go. So excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Kenny, what do you have to say about the Jazz? Well, it's never fun. When you're playing against the team, that's on fire. This team was on fire. They showed effort on defense, but it didn't matter. They couldn't get the stops. I don't think the opponent could sustain this kind of shooting. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. On your feet, fans. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. A fantastic game from DeMar DeRozan so far. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. 
And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for Chicago. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest. DeRozan out there with Zach Levine. And it's Alex Caruso. And it's Vucevic. And it's Ball in at the point guard. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Assist from A pass. Sixth man of the year winner. Clarkson is instant offense. This time on the break. On the wing, Levine. From the arc. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Levine's got ten points in the game. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Now, here's Clarkson. He's got seven, just five to shoot. Clarkson on the wing. Shoots over Caruso. A shot by Clarkson, no good. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. Kevin, what's so impressive to me about Levine? Lowering it's Lundin. the all-around play. He affects the game across the board. And Levine's efficient as well. And good shooting numbers, no Alex doubt. Last year, he got back on the turnovers. And boy, he's still young. There's still tons of upside to be had. And he makes the first. I like how Alex Caruso gives his team an instant energy boost out on the floor. He's always working overtime. And so Caruso nails both of them. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Clarkson bounce pass. He kicks it to Markinen. Nice ball movement by Utah. And here's Olenek from the arc. And Jordan Clarkson is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. First, Holt making the switch here. First Williams has checked in. Coming onto the floor for your Bulls, Patrick Williams. Bulls leading by 13. Outside, Levine. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. Wide open. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. He's given a great lift to this offense tonight. Very, very efficient. Clarkson outside. Back to Sexton. Will it go? Rebound by the Bulls. Shaky start to the half. Going one for four. Still trying to find that groove. Allen. Count that one. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. Still going hard, and, and that kind of energy and time effort out, is out. how they build the this team. Utah calls timeout. Steve, it's been tremendous to see Zach Levine reach his all-star potential in recent years. Kevin, you can tell he's loving it too, right? But yeah, this was a long time coming. He's at the top of his game, earning his spot among the best players in this league, Kevin. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Jackson against Ball. Off the left rim and out. Ugly start to this half. Hitting just 20% from the field. Gotta pick it up. Right on the bucket. 14 points for Zach Levine. From Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. It's been tremendous job of play calling and execution. They just continue to increase this lead. Here's Sexton. 
after the made shot from Zach Levine. Trying to shoot, trying to get something going. Two points, that one goes. Sexton's got his first two points of the night. Just a creative ball handler. Sexton does a really good job with his change of speeds and direction, keeping the defender off balance. Now here's Williams. He's got five. Pass to Caruso. Off target from outside. Jazz trail by 17. Clarkson for three. Rebound by Williams. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much. In recent years, the NBA has opened several international academies. Commissioner Adam Silver says huge numbers of people are playing basketball, but unless you take the best at a young age, get them facing elite competition and training under high-pressure circumstances, they won't develop into NBA caliber players. Kevin? Well, opening doors, David, that's always a good thing. Expansion. Thank you. You know, they try and stifle Olenek, but his physicality lets him work right through it. For Utah, they have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Two shots. physical big man who won't back down from anyone. Every team could use a guy like Kelly Olenek. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Dosumu comes in for Alex Caruso. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Lonzo Ball. And so Olenek nails both of them. 103 left in the third. Outside Levine. Oh, here's Dosumu. Not a lot of room. And now Utah, fast break. Here's Toscano. Guarded by Levine. Toscano passes to Horton Tucker. Over Beverly. The shot's good from Horton Tucker. Horton Tucker's got six. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Beverly deciding where to go with it. Pass to Dosumu. Now Beverly. Shoots off the step back. Abaji pulls it in. Now the pass to Gay. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Gay's got his second basket of the game. Exactly the result you want from that trip up the court. With Rudy Gay with a look from point blank range. And so it's the Chicago Bull looking at a 13 point lead heading into the next quarter. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. We'll return shortly. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Whatever the offense requires, that has to be your mindset. Always thinking team first. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. And Utah, looking at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. Arkinen is out there with Rudy Gay. Then there's Sexton. And it's Horton Tucker in a shooting guard. Now here's Sexton. Passes to Horton Tucker. Pulls up. Kept alive. The second effort. 
And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on DeRozan. The guy who's always had the tools to get to the line more. Gay aggressive that time. for Utah. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Bulls? It's just a passing clinic from them in this game. Solid communication and unselfish play all around. And another thing they've been doing all game long is knocking down the three. Shooting has been a big part of their game plan tonight. First free throw is good. Well, Rudy Gay was born in Brooklyn. Over 100 NBA players hail from that borough of New York City, making it a hotbed for Hoops Town. Catching up now on the changes for Chicago. Alex Caruso comes in for Dosumu. And Ball subbed in for Patrick Beverly. And Utah also making a switch. Clarkson's checked in. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. A lot of talent indeed. And Rudy Gay is just one of many stars hailing from Brooklyn. And future Hall of Famer Carmelo Anthony was born there. And just like Rudy, was in Maryland for high school. Kemba, Bernard King, Lenny Wilkins, other legends from the Brooklyn Bowl. Now here's Levine. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. DeRozan for three. That's good. And it's Levine with the assist. Levine's got three assists now in this one. Clarkson kicks to Markinen. Back to Clarkson. Fourth quarter still young. Just over a minute play. A second chance effort. That is good. And the Bulls lead is cut down to just 12 points with the basket from game. Yeah, despite the injuries he's suffered in his career, Rudy Gay remains a pretty good athlete. Now, here's Caruso. Pass to Levine. Uncovered. That's good on the jump shot. 18 points for Zach Levine. Well, that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. The reason why it takes extra energy to do it, you have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Here's Clarkson. Off target from three-point range. Hasn't been able to dial it in from distance. He has just the one three, and that was in the first half. Caruso, no good. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. The offensive rebound. A shot by Clarkson, no good. He's had a tough time getting it going, and he's put this team behind the eight ball. Vucevic, and slam dunk by Vucevic. Instinctual pass by Zach Levine doesn't hesitate to beat the wide open man. Outside, marking it. Outside, Sexton. Pass to Clarkson. Looking to end his cold spell. Rebounded by Vucevic. Vucevic has got four rebounds in this game. Outside, Levine. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Outside, ball. Remaining in the game. Back to DeRozan. Over game. Vucevic trying to get over. And it's DeRozan missing. And so Clarkson will bring it up for the Utah Jams. They trail by 16. Pulls it up. Clarkson missing again. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's displaying the exact opposite. A pass to Levine. Greg, you think of everything that goes into making it to the NBA as a player. Did it come easy for you, or was it all work? It's easy, really, to overlook the grind, but the when you love the, the game, all those hours in the lab don't feel quite Make like work. Fans. At least not until you start getting a little longer in the two. Utah calls timeout. They're down by 18. 122 left in the fourth quarter. moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Colin Sexton. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. A new lineup here for the Bulls. 
Bone Jekio. This is it to Azabuki. One ten left to play in the final quarter. Pass to Bone Jekio. Over Green. The Jazz with another miss. Bulls have gone four of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for Chicago. And the big difference here was accuracy from three-point range. Yeah, and once they started sinking shots, they really stretched out the D and created other opportunities. And any time they got space, they seemed to just knock down another triple. And this will make it. He won victories for them on the year. And they really had a dominant run of games against this opponent this year. They played them three times and won every one. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Zach Levine. He really played at his preferred pace. Never let adjustments by the defense speed him up or slow him down. Outside, White. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. A chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. DeMar, big effort tonight. What is the state of mind of this club right now? Just we're focusing in on the defensive end. We know if we get stops, we can definitely score whenever we want. And you got it done tonight, DeMar. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.